So let's talk about this G1 aged. Definitely that like earthy Sumatra, um, like earthy, a little bit of like oakiness, that tobacco that we often find in, um, in our wet hold Indonesian coffees. Um, so I think yeah and like just the tiniest little little just subtle 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 little bit of brightness um so very mild um i think sumatras are a great option for a small blend component to add a bit a little bit of earthiness and a little bit of body they are um very versatile that way so let's talk about this Gaio G1. Again, dark chocolate, tobacco, a little bit nutty. And I think, again, there's like a really very subtle citrus underneath everything. Um, nothing that's too in your face, um, but gives it a little bit of complexity. There's some nice sweetness that's uh, like sugary caramelly, um, but pretty balanced. Um, yeah, so that one there's like a couple hundred boxes. I think that's the one we have the most of, and it's probably the most, this is a Sumatra, this is a wet full Sumatra profile. Um, <laughs> I can't hear you, Tim and Carrie. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, so the Burgundal Abyssinia. Burgundal is a region in Sumatra, but it, Burgundal and Abyssinia are also varieties of coffee. Um, Abyssinia was when Sumatra was colonized by the Dutch for 300 years or whatever it was, um, that a... Dutch scientist brought an Ethiopian coffee strain called Abyssinia and took it to Java and then it made its way to Sumatra. So that is part of what's in this one. Um, this has I feel like if you put this coffee in front of me, I might not guess that it's a wet hole Indonesia. Um, if um, we've worked together, you might know Sumatras are not my favorite coffees. I think they have a place and they have value and people love them. They're not generally something I pick up to drink as a single origin. But this coffee, I'm like, I think I, I, I don't think I would guess it's a Sumatra. Um, there's some nice, like a medium, mild acidity in there. It's like, I would say it's close to like dried apricot. Um, like not, it doesn't have the bitter edge that plum has, but it, it has that like stone fruit sweetness and juiciness. Um, it has a really nice texture as well. Um, I would say less on the dark chocolate and more on the like semi-sweet chocolate. If you ever want to talk about tasting cocoa or tasting chocolates at various percentages, I'm always interested in that conversation. If you ever want to talk about tasting exercises in general, I'm happy to share some of the stuff that I've done to give you some ideas. Um, and then last we have the Wei Lang. Oh right, uh, the Burgundal we have 70, I'm reading my dry erase board, 70 boxes of. <sighs> The way it is almost like juicy in texture. It's like creamy, um, a little bit of heft to it, more of that stone fruit, and it's a like fairly clean finish. More of that like brown sugar caramelly sweetness. So I'll tell you, when we were talking about this cupping, 
And my boss knows that I am not a huge fan of Sumatra's. And I was like, meh, I'm not excited about these coffees. And he's like, no, 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 Jen. I know, but these are very good. And I stand corrected. These are really nice coffees. I'm pleasantly surprised. These are not super funky. Um, the aged is definitely on the funkier forest floor side of Sumatra's, but these are really nice coffees and we don't have a ton of them. The way Lang, there's only 48 boxes. Um, so I, I definitely think these are worth looking at as SO. I would look at the Gaio G1 and the aged for blending and single origin. And I think the Bergendahl and the way Lang are really nice options for single origin. <laughs> I really like the texture on the whaling, like super creamy, cocoa-y, that's nice. Um, so see, still learning things, still growing our palettes. Um, I definitely feel like the Bergendahl is the brightest of the bunch um, with that, like, like I said, dried apricot prune kind of acidity. Um, also, if anybody cares, these coffees are at like 28 minutes. So I've done a few passes on them. Um, if you ever want to talk about like home cupping setup, I'm happy to talk about that too. Yeah, the aged is definitely got that funky tobacco, woody, earthy Sumatra profile. And as the Gaio G1 is cooling, definitely getting just a touch more of that little pop of citrus. Um, so, questions, comments, have y'all picked up any of these coffees? 